Good evening, everybody. Apologize for being a little bit late. We had a few, a few little technical difficulties that I had to, to uh, look after there. Right at the, the moment, I was getting ready to hit the button. Of course, some kind of setting wasn't right, so I had to adjust that for you. So it's good to uh, be with you again on a Wednesday night. And uh, as you can see, uh, my better half is not here. So she's not really feeling well tonight. So uh, uh, it'd be nice for you to remember her in your prayers uh, as well. But uh, we'll start off again with our theme song for the pandemic and give uh, some people some time to get tuned in and uh, ready for a time to worship. Wherever I am, I'll praise him. And whenever I can, I'll praise him. For his love surrounds me like a sea. I'll praise the name of Jesus and I'll lift up the name of Jesus because the name of Jesus had lifted me. So God bless you as we sing this one and begin a time of worship together. Wherever I am, I'll praise him whenever I can. I'll praise him for his love surrounds me like a sea. I'll praise the name of Jesus, lift up the name of Jesus, for the name of Jesus lifted me. Wherever I am, I'll praise Him whenever I can. I'll praise Him for His love surrounds me like a sea. I'll praise the name of Jesus, lift up the name of Jesus, for the name of Jesus lifted me. Wherever I am, I'll praise Him whenever I can. I'll praise Him for His love surrounds me like a sea. I'll praise the name of Jesus, lift up the name of Jesus, for the name of Jesus lifted me. Amen. So by all means, as, you, uh, as you're watching there, <clears throat> send us a little comment and let us know that where you're watching from or if you see somebody that's watching and, and posted the comment and you haven't seen them for a while or whatever the case may be just uh, introduce yourself or whatever it's, we're all family even though we're uh, together in different ways amen so just a reminder now of the the announcement from Sunday past, we're getting ready to prepare the Christmas hampers uh, for delivery. So if you have any non-perishable items, um, by all means get them in by Sunday coming. And of course we are adhering to the protocols and whatnot and uh, we'll look after them once they arrive at the, uh, the church building. Also for a prayer request, we're continuing to pray for uh, Sister Claudine Hines and uh, Pauline Rice. And also praying for uh, Gloria Dix, who's in St. John's at the Health Science now. Um, continuing for, to pray for the man in Gander that had the heart trouble. A lady from uh, my hometown requested us to pray for her son. So we'll continue to pray for him. And as well, Miss Mary Fredsham's family. Um, her niece passed away this past week, so uh, we're praying for the families that are, are suffering the loss of a loved one, and uh, pray God's grace be with them. So let's bow together as we, as we begin a time of worship. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for a, a chance to worship you together. 
Lord, even though we, we may be scattered all over Newfoundland or Canada or wherever people are watching from or will be watching from, but Lord, we're, we're together in spirit. And Lord, we're lifting up the mighty name of Jesus together. We're praising you for all that you have done for us. So many times, Lord, that we had to seek you for answers. Lord, so many times that we were in trouble or, or un, ununderstood circumstances. But Lord, we had to turn to you and Lord, you deliver us. Father, we thank you tonight. Thank you for each person that's watching, each person that posts a comment tonight. And Lord, we pray for those that are, are sick. Father, you understand each situation. Lord, I pray your hand of grace will be upon each person. Let them feel you, feel your presence, your comfort and your peace and your love. Let it surround them wherever they may be too tonight. Lord, we know that there's nothing too difficult for you. Lord, we'll give you all the praise and all the glory and we'll lay all these concerns at your feet. And Father, bless this time together as we worship you. In your name we pray. Amen and amen. It was good to see some people posting some comments and I, uh, the way I got things set up here, I'm a little bit too far away to see you see, God bless you. God bless each of you for tuning in. And if you have any, have a testimony or a scripture or something, something like that that's been on your heart this week, by all means, uh, share it through a comment to uh, to bless others. And if I catch it and I can see it <laughs> without having to squint too hard, we'll uh, we'll share it along uh, with you as well. Well, God bless you as we sing. Holy Spirit, we welcome you in this place tonight. Come and set our spirit free, make everything all right. Fill us with your love and power, strengthen us with thy might. Holy Spirit, we welcome you in this place tonight. Holy Spirit, we welcome you in this place tonight. Come and set our spirit free, make everything all right. Fill us with your love and power, strengthen us with thy might. Holy Spirit, we welcome you in this place tonight. Holy Spirit, we welcome you in this place tonight come and set our spirit free make everything all right fill us with your love and power strengthen us with thy mind holy spirit we welcome you in this place tonight holy spirit we welcome you in this place tonight Come and set our spirit free, make everything all right. Fill us with your love and power, strengthen us with thy might. Holy Spirit, we welcome you in this place tonight. song that we sing come and dine the chorus says come and dine the master calls come and dine you may feast at Jesus table all the time he who fed the multitude and turned the water into wine to the hungry calls now come and dine it's certainly a wonderful invitation tonight I know I'm hungry for another move of God that's for sure I'm hungry to see the Holy Spirit move in a way that 
will surprise all of us. Jesus has a table spread where the saints of God are fed. He invites his chosen people come and dine. With his manna he does feed and supplies our every need. Oh, the sweet to sup with Jesus all the time. Come and dine, Master Caller, come and dine. You may feast at Jesus' table all the time. He who fed the multitude, he turned the water into wine. To the hungry calleth now, come and dine. The disciples came to land, thus obeying Christ's command. For the Master called unto them, Come and dine. There they found their heart's desire, bread and fish upon the fire. Thus he satisfies the hungry every time. Come and dine, the Master calleth, Come and dine. You may feast at Jesus' table all the time. He who fed the multitude turned the water into wine. To the hungry calleth now, come and dine. Soon the Lamb will take his bride to be ever by his side. All the hosts of heaven will assemble be. Oh, it will be a glorious sight, all the saints in spotless white, and with Jesus they will feast eternally. Come and dine, the Master caller, come and dine. You may feast at Jesus' table all the time. He who fed the multitude turned the water into wine. The hungry call it now, come and dine, come and dine, the master calleth, come and dine. May feast at Jesus' table all the time, he who fed the multitude, turned the water into wine. To the hungry call it now, come and dine. Come and dine, the Master Caller, come and dine. You may feast at Jesus' table all the time. He who fed the multitude turned the water into wine. To the hungry Caller now, come and dine. Come and dine, the Master Caller, come and dine. You may feast at Jesus' table all the time. He who fed the multitude turned the water into wine. To the hungry call it now, come and dine. Amen. I stand amazed in the presence of Jesus the Nazarene and wonder how he could love me, a sinner condemned unclean. How marvelous, how wonderful, and my song shall ever be, how marvelous, how wonderful is my Savior's love for me. I stand amazed in the presence of Jesus the Nazarene and wondered how he could love me, a sinner condemned unclean. How marvelous how wonderful and my song shall ever be how marvelous how wonderful is my savior's love for me for me
me it was in the garden he prayed not my will but thine he had no tears for his own grief but sweat drops of blood for mine how marvelous how wonderful and my song shall ever be how marvelous how wonderful is my savior's love for me in pity angels beheld him and came from the world of life to comfort him in the sorrow he bore for my soul that night. How marvelous, how wonderful, and my song shall ever be. How marvelous, how wonderful is my Savior's love for me. He took my sin and my sorrow, he made them his very own. He bore the burden to Calvary and suffered and died alone. How marvelous, how wonderful, and my song shall ever be. How marvelous, how wonderful is my Savior's love for me. With a ransom in glory, His face at last I shall see. T'will be my joy through the ages to sing of His love for me. How marvelous, how wonderful, and my song shall ever be. How marvelous, how wonderful is my Savior's love for me. How marvelous, how wonderful, and my song shall ever be how marvelous how wonderful is my savior's love for me amen and amen Slow down a little bit for a, for a time of worship. And I always want to give enough time for that. So I pray that uh, wherever you may be too, in your own living room or uh, on the side of the road watching on your phone or whatever, I pray that you'll, you'll take time to enter in and to worship and to listen to what's really being said through the words of the hymns and the courses and when we look at God's word now in a few moments. Well, I want to sing this one. It's by Chris Tomlin, Jesus Messiah. It said, He became sin who knew no sin, that we might become his righteousness. He humbled himself and carried the cross. Love so amazing love so amazing Jesus Messiah name above all names blessed Redeemer Emmanuel the rescue for sinners the ransom from heaven Jesus Messiah Lord of all 
his body the bread, his blood the wine, broken and poured out, all for love. The whole earth trembled, and the veil was torn, love so amazing, love so amazing. Jesus Messiah, name above all names, blessed Redeemer, Emmanuel, rescue for sinners. Ransom from heaven, Jesus Messiah, Lord of all. He became Jesus Messiah, name above all. Blessed Redeemer, Emmanuel, rescue for sinners, ransom from heaven, Jesus Messiah, Lord of all. Name above all names, blessed Redeemer. I'll try this here now. God bless you, Eugene, for tuning in. Lily Vincent, Niagara Price. God bless you. God bless the guy, Huina. Lois. Should have brought me uh, opera glasses, I guess. So good to have you all tuning in for a time of worship. This one says, and when my plans have fallen through and I don't know what to do, I just look onto the hills whence comes my help. When the dreams I've dreamed have died and I need a place to hide, I just look onto the hills whence comes my help. And I cry, Father, Holy Father, I need to rest a while close to you. Give me water, living water, for it's in these hills, hills, I feel my strength renewed. You know, it's so good to be able to cry out to our Heavenly Father when things are not going the way they're supposed to. When all the plans have fallen through and you're sitting there and you j just definitely don't know what to do. But praise God, we can look to the hills. We can look to our Heavenly Father and we can rest a while close to Him. We can ask for a living water once again and he can pour it out upon the dry desert places. When there's pain on every side, I simply close my eyes and look onto the hills 
in our prayers whence comes our help. And when my valleys will all turn into another yesterday, I just look onto the hills where comes my help. In verse number three, it says, when things all go wrong and you feel that all hope is gone, just look unto the hills whence comes your help. So go to your knees in prayer because the Lord is always there when you look unto the hills whence comes my help. God bless you as you sing this one. I pray that it's a blessing to you. When my plans are falling through and I don't know what to do I just look on to The hills whence comes my help When the dreams I've dreamed have died And I need a place to hide I just look on to The hills whence comes my help I cry, Father, Holy Father, I need to rest a while close to you. Give me water, living water, for it's in the I feel my strength renewed And when there's pain on every side I simply close my eyes And I look onto the hills whence comes my help When my valleys all turn to another yesterday I just look on to the hills whence comes my help I cry Father Holy Father I need to rest a while Give me water, holy water, for it's in these hills I feel my strength renew. So when things all go wrong, and you feel all hope is gone, just look on to the hills whence comes my help. So go to your knees in prayer, cause the Lord is always there. When you look on to the hills whence comes my help. I cry, Father, Holy Father, I need to rest a while close to you. Give me water, living water, for it's in these hills I feel my strength renew. I cry, Father, Holy Father, I need to rest a while close to you. Give me water, living water, for it's in these hills I feel my strength renewed.
sing one more chorus here for you now before we before I bring the word of God to you. Yes, our peace who has broken down every wall. He is our peace. He is our peace. He is our peace who has broken down every wall. He is our peace. He is our peace. Rest all your care on him. For he cares for you. He is our peace. He is our peace. Cast all your care on him. For he cares for you. He is our peace. our peace who has broken down every wall he is our peace he is our peace he is our peace who has broken down every wall he is our peace, He is our peace. Cast all your care on Him, for He cares for you. He is our peace. He is our peace. Cast all your care. For He cares for you. He is our peace. He is our peace. Amen. He is our peace. He's broken down every wall. So last week we began our look at Psalms number 34 and focused on the first three verses. We understand that this psalm was written by King David just after his encounter with the Philistine king of Gath. And upon his return to his men who were hiding in the cave at Adullam, he began to bless the Lord because he was able to escape from the presence of this king of Gath. And he asked his men to join in with him as he magnified the name of the Lord because of what he had just done for him. Tonight I want to continue on and looking at verses 4 through 7 and see David's response for the way that he blessed the Lord. So verse 4 says, I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all of my fears. And they looked to him and were radiant and their faces were not ashamed. And this poor man cried out, and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all of his troubles. In verse 7, the angel of the Lord encamps all around those who fear him and delivers them. Verse 4 gives to me what I like to call a timeless 
testimony. David's explanation for wanting to bless the Lord was relatively simple. He said, I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all of my fears. Now, if you think about it for a minute, that's a strong proclamation for David to be saying in front of all of these men of his. But we know that David was in fear of King Saul and he was fleeing for his life. And he was trying to find a place of refuge. This is David. Saul was the one that had slain his thousands. But David was the one who slain his tens of thousands. You know, David was after building a massive reputation with the people. And here he is admitting to them that in a time of fear and uncertainty that he sought the Lord. You know, this is why I call it a timeless testimony. You know, it, it's something that we hear from a child of God that is not afraid or ashamed of their devotion to the Lord. It's a testimony that to me proves of a devout prayer life. It's a testimony that proves that there is faith in Almighty God. A testimony that proves that God is greater than any problem. Any sickness, trial, or tribulation that a saint of God would face. The testimony is that when trouble came to me, I knew how to handle it. Because we turned to the Lord. When I was at the lowest point in my life, I knew that I had a friend that sticks closer than a brother. I knew that it was not a, I was not alone even though I may feel like I'm all alone. I knew that even though it felt like my prayers were not going past the ceiling, I still knew that my prayers were reaching the throne of heaven because I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all of my fears. You know, it's a testimony that never gets old, no matter how many times that we may hear it. And in verse 5, it says, They looked to him and were radiant. And their faces were not ashamed. We were seeing in verse 4 that David was talking and he said that I sought the Lord. And now in verse 5, the position changes and we're talking about all of those that look to him. To God were radiant and their faces were not ashamed. You know, it's a biblical command, a biblical teaching for us to call upon the Lord. And it's also a biblical command to believe that God will answer. To have faith in the one that we are calling out to. Deuteronomy 4 and 29 said, But from there you will seek the Lord your God, and you will find him if you seek him with all of your heart and with all of your soul. Psalms 27 and 8 said, When you said, Seek my face, my heart said to you, Your face, Lord. I will seek. Now I remember as a child growing up and not just myself but a lot of my friends as well that when we, we would see something in a store or it was time to get something new like a bicycle or whatever the child would start in asking their parents for it. Now this process could go on for weeks or months as time would progress. The anticipation for that new item would continually increase. And as the asking 
process continued. The conversation between the child and parents would be focused on how bad did the child want that new item. And I'm going somewhere with this. In these conversations, the parents were always testing to see if the child really wanted the item. Would it be something that a child would get and in a few days be left outside in the weather or be left in a, in a friend's garden and be totally forgotten about? Or would it be something that the child wanted bad enough to hold on to and to protect it and to take care of it? It had to be something that the child really wanted in order for the parents to go and to invest that amount of money into it. Is the principle behind that that what I'm reminded of when I read in scriptures that say to seek me with all of your heart and all of your soul. When we spend time seeking after God, it has to be a heart matter. It has to mean something to us personally in an intimate kind of a way. This is what we're seeing out of David as he declared in verse 4 how he sought the Lord and the Lord heard him and delivered him from his fears. And in verse 5, those who looked to God were radiant. Their faces were not ashamed because they sought the Lord with all of their heart and all of their soul. And God was true to his word and delivered them from all of their fears. And finally, in verse 7, David summarized it all. And he said, The angel of the Lord encamps all around those who fear him and delivers them. It's a timeless testimony of the delivering power of God. See, we know that David experienced firsthand many situations that he had to call on God for. And he was able to share what he had seen from others that sought the Lord with all of their hearts and all of their souls. And David now makes this bold statement of faith that the Lord encamps around those that fear them and delivers them. And we know that when David is talking about fearing God, it's a reference to the holy fear and the reverence to the sovereign God. They sought after him with their whole heart and their soul. You know, that's for us even today. You may find yourself in situations or sometimes in sometime in the near future where everything seems to be hopeless. Everything seems to be gone bottom up. But you need to remember that you're not the first person to be there. And you're not the only person to be in that situation. But our God encamps around us and protects us. He always provides a way where there seemed to be no way. When we seek the Lord with all of our heart and all of our soul, God delivers. We often sing that chorus, and we'll sing it here after this, under the blood of Jesus, safe in the shepherd's fold, under the blood of Jesus, safe 
while the ages roll. Safe though the world may crumble, safe though the stars grow dim, under the blood of Jesus, I am secure in him. Let's read that again. Safe though the world may crumble, safe though the stars themselves grow dim, how bleak of a place would we be we're not too far from the world crumbling around us now as we speak. But safe even though the stars themselves would grow dim under the blood of Jesus. We're secure in him. It's a timeless testimony for sure that today as a child of God, you're under the blood of Jesus and safe for eternity. Does that mean that you won't have any problems? No, absolutely not. But what it means, and most importantly, is that we are safe spiritually in Him. We don't have to worry about our personal standing with God. You know, a lot of people suffer and struggle along, and this, this was on my heart tonight. Some people have to deal with, with doubt in their minds. You figure that maybe because they may have acted a certain way since they did give their hearts to the Lord, that maybe now their salvation is in jeopardy. But you know, yes, we all make mistakes. We all do things that maybe we should not be doing. But when we realize that they are mistakes, we pray about it. Say, yes, Lord, I realize that I was wrong. And I'm sorry. Forgive me once again. You know, our salvation is still secure. We still have faith in what Jesus did for us at Calvary. You know, a few mistakes along the way. Now, I'm not really sure why I, I share it like that. But yes, we make mistakes along the way. But we still have faith in the Lord Jesus. We still seek him. And he's still able to take away all of our fears and doubts, fears of how secure our salvation is in him while we still have faith in him. Heavenly Father, Lord, I thank you for this time together tonight. Lord, whoever it is that may be struggling with fear and with doubt and may question the spiritual things. Lord, I pray that you'll give them comfort tonight. That they're safe under the blood of Jesus. Safe though the world may crumble and safe even though the stars themselves may even grow dim. But Lord, we're still safe and secure in you because we still have faith in you. And we're still under the blood of Jesus because the blood has never ever lost its power. Lord, tonight we give you thanks and we give you praise for all the mighty work that your Holy Spirit is doing in our hearts today. In your precious name. Amen. Under the blood of Jesus, safe in the shepherd's fold. Under the blood of Jesus 
saved while the angels roll. Sing, though the world may crawl. Save though the stars grow dim. Under the blood of Jesus, I am secure in Him. Under the blood of Jesus, safe in the shed. Under the blood of Jesus, saved all the angels roll. Saved though the world may cry. Though the stars grow dim Under the blood of Jesus I am secure in Him Hallelujah Precious Jesus. Sing this one. This one sings, you'll carry me through, Lord, like you always do. You hold me and hide me like good shepherds do. This valley is no different than those valleys that came and went. I know you'll be true like you promised you'll do. You'll carry me through. You'll carry me through, Lord, like you always do, Lord. You'll hold me and hide me, like good shepherds do. This valley's no different than the valleys that came. No, you'll be true, like you promised you'll do. You carry me through. You'll carry me through, Lord, like you always do, Lord. You hold me and hide me, like good shepherds do. This valley's no different than the valleys that came and went. I know you'll be true, like you promised you'll do. You'll carry me through. You'll carry me through, Lord, like you always do. Hold me and hide you Like good shepherds do This valley's no different Than the valleys that came and went I know you'll be true Like you promised you'll do You'll carry me through
Praise God. Okay, one more. <laughs> Once my soul was astray from that heavenly way. I was wretched and vile as could be. But my Savior up above, He gave me peace, joy, and love when He reached down His hand for me. The Savior reached down for me When He reached down His hand for me I was lost and undone Without God or His Son When He reached down His hand for me I was near to despair when he came to me there. He showed me that I could be free. Then he lifted my feet. He gave me gladness complete when he reached down his hand for me. When the Savior reached down for me When He reached down His hand for me I was lost and undone Without God or His Son When He reached down His hand for me how my heart does rejoice when I hear His sweet voice. The tempest to Him I can flee. There to lean on His arms, safe, secure from all harm, since He reached down His hand for me. When the Savior reached down for me When He reached down His hand for me I was lost and undone Without God or His Son When He reached down His hand When the Savior reached down for me When He reached down His hand for me I was lost and undone Without God or His Son When He reached down His hand I was near to despair when he came to me there And he showed me that I could be free well, Then he lifted my feet, he gave me gladness complete When he reached down his hand for me when the Savior reached down for me When He reached down His hand for me I was lost and undone Without God or His Son When He reached down his hand for me when the Savior reached down for me 
When he reached down his hand for me I was lost and undone Without God or his son When he reached down his hand for me When he reached down his hand Praise God. When he reached down his hand for me. Hallelujah. God bless each of you for tuning in. Close in prayer for just a moment here. Lord, I'm so thankful that you reached your hand down for me, Lord, I'm sure that there are so many that are watching that can testify to the same thing. That we were lost and undone without you or your son. But Lord, we're so thankful that you reached down to us. And Lord, tonight we give you thanks and praise for that. And Father, once again, for the prayer requests. Lord, nothing is too difficult for you. Lord, we know that from what we've understood tonight from your word, when we seek you with our whole heart and our soul, you hear us and you deliver us from all of our fears. Lord, Lord, tonight we stand upon your word for those that are sick. Lord, those that are terminally ill tonight laying in the hospital bed, Father, we reach out to them. Lord, we reach out to you because, Lord, we know that you're forever making intercession to the Father on our behalf. Lord, we know that the blood sacrifice was given And Lord, it has never, ever lost its power. Lord, tonight we stand together in faith. And Lord, I know that there are people listening to this tonight and they're saying, yes, amen. And Lord, we stand upon your word. Because God, your word is forever settled in heaven. There is absolutely nothing from this world that can change what you said in your word. Lord, we seek after you with our whole heart and our soul tonight for those people that are sick. And Lord, we know because of your word that you, you reach out to us. And Lord, you deliver those from sickness. Father, we stand upon your word tonight, O oh God. Lord, we stand in faith. Lord, there's nothing wavering us tonight. Lord, we stand firm on you tonight, O oh God. Lord, we look forward to the miracles because of you. Because it's a testimony to you, O oh God, not to us. Nothing to us tonight. Lord, there's no flesh glorying in your presence tonight, Lord. But Lord, we stand upon your word. And Lord, there are many people tonight seeking you. On behalf of family and friends that need a physical touch from you. Holy Spirit, we're so thankful that you are with us. Lord, I once again I thank you for each person that is tuned in tonight. Thank you, Lord, for those that will be listening and watching throughout this past week. And Father, I thank you for the fruit of these ministries. Thank you for this small church here. And thank you for all of those that are reaching out through social media, Father. We 
We thank you, Lord, and we look forward to hearing of the testimonies and the response from the seeds that are being sown. Lord, we give you all the praise and all the glory. In your precious name, amen. Well, God bless each and every one of you, and thank you once again for, for tuning in. And, and uh, if all goes well, we'll be back again next Wednesday night at 8 o'clock. So uh, be sure to uh, set some time aside for a time of worship together. And, and by all means, feel free to share it around and uh, get so many people as we can to, to join in with us. Well, God bless you and uh, Merry Christmas to you and your families. And we'll see you again soon. God bless you.